Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? You probably noticed, yes, my voice is incredibly croaky at the moment. I have got an absolutely awful cold at the moment, which is making my voice really bad. My throat feels like I've been gargling nails. Um, and therefore, all of my episodes this week, I was actually seriously considering not doing any recording for a week in order to get over this. My throat is that bad, it is really painful to talk. Um, instead, I'm going to do the episodes, but all of my episodes this week are going to be shorter than normal. Um, some of them by quite a long way, so I apologise for that, but I figured you'd prefer to have something rather than nothing, so that's what we're going to go for. Um, also, uh, yeah, it's... well, if there's any other differences, we'll put this down to the cold and me, me just not feeling very good, because there's not a lot else that I can do. So. Yeah, we basically, we, we re restarted and we've gone to season two. Well, first of all, I hope you had an absolutely wonderful Christmas. Um, I, personally, I had an awesome Christmas. Um, I mean, besides the fact uh, myself, both my children and my wife all had miserable stinking colds right across Christmas. Um, Christmas Day, we were all pretty rough. Um, Boxing Day, we were all pretty rough. Christmas Eve, we were all pretty rough. It is now the 27th and we're all still pretty rough. Um... But yeah, you know, aside from the fact that we all, <laughs> we were all, excuse me a minute. Yeah, aside from the fact that we were all um, quite ill across Christmas, uh, we, we did have a good Christmas. It, there was a, it was a good time was had. Um, it's just, um, it potentially could have been a little bit better if we hadn't been um, all choking and spluttering and, you know, feverish. My youngest child was quite feverish on Christmas day. Um, Santa Claus heard him coughing in the night and actually left him a health potion to drink up, which he, I mean, he was awake at half past one in the morning and it wasn't because of excitement for Christmas, it was because he was ill. Um, so he drank his health potion at half past one in the morning and he says that it did help him a little. So there, there was that at least. He, he did have his health potion and that did help him out. Um, and yep, so Santa Claus came and went and gave us some awesome stuff. And um, he had a, he did have a teddy bear with his name on it, which he was particularly pleased with. And then there was a few, few other little um, toys and pieces and stuff as well. And then the main present from my wife and myself to our children, as well as from my wife to me, um, was a PS4. So I now have a PS4, which is absolutely awesome. Um, we've been playing a few different games. I've been playing GT Sport. I've been wanting to play that for quite a while. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I'm absolutely terrible at it, but I have been playing it. Um, we've got Fortnite Battle Royale on there, which we've been, uh, well, my sons have been playing a little bit. I'm, I've had a lot of requests to play that game on this channel, so I may very well get it on the PC. I don't have a capture card at the moment, or, um, I don't really intend to be using the PlayStation for doing recording. Um... So I do have um, plans to try Fortnite on this channel and we'll see because I've been getting a huge number of requests to play that game. So I will try maybe an episode or two to see what people think. Um, don't expect greatness from me. Um, it's a first person shooter and you know what I'm like with those. However, I will give it a go. It's, it's fairly family friendly anyway. There's, there's no gore or anything like that. It's, it's, um, it seems fairly good. Um, so I will give that one a go. So let me just put in a little bit more. All I'm doing is I just want to fill these mats up. Um, I know what I'm doing here. I'd like to just have one go at this. And then we are going to do what most people watching the last video suggested that I should do. And that is we change everything to cost $1. And we buy ourselves back to roughly where we were at the end of um, season 1. Uh, rather than going from scratch all the way through. And I absolutely agree. I think that is an excellent idea. So that is what we're going to try to do. But I would like to just do a little bit here um, with a couple of mats. And we will pan these out and then we'll see what we get. And then um, we, we can sort of go and start upgrading things and doing things a little bit quicker. So that's, that's kind of the plan on that one. Um, just bring that one around. Um, with regards to the PS4... I have got the um, username, use tag of Frithgar, and it's more of a placeholder. Um, it's my children will be using the account, and I will probably look and find a way to block incoming friend requests. Um, it doesn't matter who you are or um, you know how long you've been watching the channel or anything. 
my children are the ones that are mostly playing that one so i will not be accepting any friend requests on the playstation network i apologize if you really i know that some of you would really love to be able to play with me on there however because it's the you know mostly my children will be playing on it rather than me um i absolutely will not be accepting friend requests so um yeah it's just going to be a standard policy across the board I do the same on my Steam account. I do not accept friend requests. I've got lots of friend requests given, um, but I don't accept friend requests on my Steam account, and I won't be accepting friend requests on here either. So I apologize if that's not what you want to hear. Um, I can appreciate that you would like to be able to um, game with me. You know, you do watch a lot of my videos, and so I, I do, honestly, I really do appreciate that um, you're going to want to be able to play with me, and... Um, you're going to be disappointed that you can't. But at the moment, no, I... W Someone told me to try this. I didn't think it would actually work. That was brilliant. <laughs> uh, let's not lose the... Let's just go and grab that pan a minute. I'm so glad that came back down there rather than anywhere else. Yeah, somebody said that we should try that. That was brilliant. I'm so doing that again. Where, where did the bin go? Um, okay. <laughs> that was awesome. There it is. Right, we'll take this over into the middle of the claim and we'll try it over there. Um, so, yeah, I really do... Um, you know, I can I can appreciate that you do want to um, play with me on the PlayStation Network, but unfortunately it will ha it will be a no. There's just no right across the board. I'm not making any exceptions for any reason. Um, I will not be accepting friend requests on PlayStation. It's just the way that it's going to be. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's not a lot that I can say other than that, but <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Oh, look at the look at the terrain and everything that comes around here. Uh what's happened? No! No! Where's my i I think I've lost my pan. Where is it? Oh there it is! It's coming down. It's coming down. Like a missile. I think it's landed right I think it landed right over in the woods. We'll go over and we'll have a look and we'll see if it's actually come down anywhere near the edge. It definitely dropped down over there somewhere. <laughs> that was awesome. That was genuinely brilliant. Um I think it was behind the trees that it landed, and I don't think you can get any further back. Okay, so we appear to have lost our pan. Um Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think this through, did I? I absolutely didn't think this through. Right, so in order to be able to pan out that water, um, or that, that gold-bearing stuff there, we you know what? I'm wondering, if, if we take this with us to the shop, could we actually pan this back at the shop? If I take that gold with me, and I take the pan with me, because I don't think we got another one. I think there is only one here. If I take that with me, I could buy another one at the shop, and I could do it there. I'm curious to see if this works. So let's just put that one up. I'll double check that there isn't any others in here. Let me have a look. And no. Right, nothing in there. Um, right, so we'll run this one over to the shop, and we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can find. See if there is any joy to be had with um, panning this one out. Oop. What's going on? Uh, there we go. Right, I want that one. And that should lock those two in place in the back. So they're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> that was brilliant. I can't remember who it was that suggested I should try that. But thank you very much. That was brilliant. We are going to be doing that again over the other claims as well. We will um, get some more um, pans. And we'll lay them out in the other claims. So that we can get a decent aerial view of all of the claims. Hopefully we'll do that in the next couple of episodes. Before this whole issue is patched. I really don't want it to be patched. Because... Um, that was absolutely brilliant. That was genuinely awesome. Um, got some changes coming to the channel. I'm telling this on just about every video I make this week, just so that everybody is aware, because I know that some of you only watch one or two series. Um, I'm going to be changing the upload schedule. And the big change is going to be that uh, Farming Simulator will stay the same. That will be at 4 o'clock every day. And the games that I do at 2 o'clock, they will stay the same. I'm going to change the actual lineup of some of the games, but there will be a scheduled upload at 2 o'clock. Then at 6 o'clock, um, I'm talking GMT at the moment, my time. Um, 6 o'clock, it has been Stardew Valley and um, Gold Rush. It's been alternating. 
uh, that's going to change. I'm not going to have a set video at 6 p.m. anymore. That's not going to happen. Gold Rush will have a guaranteed slot um, for one of the 2 p.m. Um, uploads uh, because there's a couple of the games that I'm doing there that aren't very popular, so they'll be removed. Um, and at the moment, I know that Stardew Valley is not particularly popular. However, there's a big update coming out soon. And so I'm going to just play that one for another few weeks until the big update comes out. And then I will take a look at um, doing something different with it. But that one will also have one guaranteed slot. So let me just buy one of those. I know I'm spending $15. I could already be doing the buy for $1. However, um, there's a specific reason for this. I, I would like to... Oh! Issue. Um, I need water for this one, and I don't think there is any water other than at the claim. Ah, I didn't think that through, did I? Right, so we can we have to go back to the claim because that is the only place that we've got water. So we we're gonna have to just do that bit. Um, so yes, Gold Rush will have one guaranteed episode per week. It won't have more than that. I will most weeks play Gold Rush more than once a week. But the, what I want to do is, the rather than having three scheduled uploads every day, I'm going to have two scheduled uploads every day, so you know what games to expect for two videos every day. And then the third one is not going to be scheduled, so that when I get given new games to play, if I get access early access to a game and i got to get a video out pretty quick, I don't have a schedule I'm interrupting. I don't have to try to find time to produce extra videos on top of my normal, quite full schedule. Um, in order to be able to get this extra stuff out. So I've got these, I've, I will then have a video slot available every single day um, where I can put out an additional video, where, you know, so if there's another game. If there isn't any other stuff, then there will be a bit more of Gold Rush and other things that are proving popular. So I, I can literally just sort of play it by ear. Um, I can try out a game, see if people like it. If they don't, I will... Uh, I, you know, refrain from playing that very much in the future. Um, if people really like it, I could do two or three days on the trot of the same game because that's the one that people have really enjoyed. And that's kind of my plan for um, how things are going to run in the future. So it does mean that you won't see a schedule for Gold Rush for um, three times a week. However, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be playing it more than once a week. Uh, I will still be playing this game on a regular basis. I enjoy this game, and you all enjoy this game as well. This is the second most popular game on the channel. Um, besides Farming Simulator, I get more views on this than I do on anything else, so it would be foolish of me to stop playing this game. I've got no intention of not playing this game on a very regular basis for everybody who watches the channel, because there's a lot of you who only subscribe to me because of this. So, yes, it will mean that I'm not going to be having a regular scheduled upload for Gold Rush, which might prove a little bit more difficult for some of you, um, because you then, you, you're obviously having to check fairly regularly to see when I'm uploading it, because, you know, sometimes it might be two or three days in a row, other times it might be three or four days without a single episode, and I can appreciate that that is going to be a bit of a pain, it's, it's not going to be, it's not exactly what you want, um, However, overall, I think that for the benefit of the channel and everybody that watches, I think that we will end up having, um, it, it will be a, a better thing to do. I think it's going to result in a better quality of channel and it's going to result in me being able to really take a look at some of the new stuff that's coming out as well because there are some awesome new um, simulated games coming out in the next six months and I would like to be able to take a look at just about every single one of them but not only that there are other games as well I get requests to play all kinds of games on this channel now and I would like to be able to play quite a lot of them so I can sort of use this to um, take a look at some of the different games that are coming out and I can you know be able to see <laughs> just what instantly we've got the biggest gold nugget ever what do we get 39 ounces after just one. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see how much we actually get from this. Remember, we are changing over to um, everything is a, a dollar. So um, we have got we got 39 point. We've actually it's we're done all right because this is only the first clean. This is literally just the first clean. So let me just uh, go back out of that mode. I've got one more bit of gold in behind there. I can see. Okay, there we go. 
at that bit. So we had 0.2 ounces from that one clean. That's pretty good, I'd say. Right, I don't see any more gold on there. Um, let me just lower it down a minute and just give it a rinse. Right, no, there is, there's no more gold in there. That's all of that bit. So then I think, yeah, I'll do it like that. And we bring that one over and we drop it down. I'm going to just finish cleaning this. In our next episode, we will start our next episode by... Oops, you know, you really don't want to be tipped over. Nope. Still don't want to tip you over. There we go. Um, we will start our next episode by changing everything over to um, buy it all for a dollar. And we will be going back to roughly how we were before. I don't like the idea of doing everything from scratch. But I did think that we, it would be nice just to take a look at the, the start of the game again. Because as many of you know, I did get that really wrong last time, didn't I? That, that was, it was really bad. Um... I was messing around with the, the, the bowls and um, the tubs here and I was doing the panning wrong and yeah, it, it was generally bad. So I thought it'd be nice to just, you know, at least get this right once. Um, my panning is not very good anyway. I, I, I'm, I'm aware of that. Let me just bring that one up a bit. See if I can tip out some of this dirt. You do have to be careful. You have to be very, very careful. Um, and you, you don't get a bonus for tipping out all the dirt. All you get is it's just easier to get the gold. That's literally the only advantage. It's just easier to pick up the gold. So let me just grab that bit. Um, there's one in there. I think I've got three. There's three more bits on here. There's one there. There's one in there. And there's one over there as well, which is now... Oh, nope. There, I got it. 39.4 ounces so far. Oh, no. There's another piece there. Grab that one. Right, let me get another pan full. Let's just rinse this lot off. Shake it around under there like that. I think you can do most of it just by putting it down in the water. Um, I think you do actually now have to lift it up a little bit and do some rinsing like that. Uh, but generally you can do most of it under the water down here. Without having to lift it up at all. So let's see now. We've got, there's a lot of gold on the top edge here. I don't want to tip that out. Oh, 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 oh. So close. That was close. Uh, there's a few more bits to fall off. We've got a new DLC coming out soon. Uh, the Frankenstein DLC. That is, is sometime in January that's coming out. I don't know exactly when it's going to be. But, I mean, it does look really good. It's got all of those, um, the conveyor belts and everything. Right, I think that's probably enough removing of dirt we didn't actually spill any gold there well don't i didn't see any gold spill um maybe i did miss a little bit but uh, i don't think i missed any we just get another little bit there so we're already on 0.6 out we've done really well from this wash grab that last little bit there that's all of the gold yep that's it um come out of that no i don't want to come out of there completely i want to just come out of the first mode so i can tip that last, last little bit out like that and Drop that one down. Final wash now. 6.6. Uh, .6. So, yeah, the, the actual um, gold nugget that we found, you know, the big one, that the, the extra bonus one that they give you, that was 39 ounces. So we're not going to be far off of 34 oun uh, 40 ounces, all told. Um, now, last time, uh, we found out that we can have this in metric or we can have it in imperial. So we can have grams of gold or we can have ounces of gold. I said for you to comment down below which one you'd prefer me to work in and the majority of people want me to stay with Imperial and work in ounces rather than working in metric because I think it's it's quite familiar. Gold I think you do work in... Ooh, I so nearly lost a piece then. Um, gold you work in ounces normally anyway so we're going to keep this one with Imperial and no, 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 I didn't actually want to do that. I think by doing that, I've actually just lost some gold. That was that was not good. I think by doing that, I lost at least two or three pieces of gold that was on that pan. That is really not the way to do it. I was hoping for a better yield than this. Still, we've got 38, uh, 39.8, 39.86 ounces. And yes, we. I think we definitely did lose just a tiny bit um, by... Um, coming out. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed E to come out of the whole mode rather than just uh, pressing shift to switch from the um, 
panning to uh, the picking to the panning mode. Right, what am I doing? Uh, you know, it would help if I actually turn the engine on, I suppose. So let's spin this one up round. 39.8 ounces. We're going to run to the blacksmith and we're going to smelt that, except that I'm not going to be smelting it today. That will be something that I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I apologize for the short episode. However, in order to be able to actually do some content for you this week, I will need to cut all of my episodes shorter than normal. Um, and yeah, I realize that some of you may not like this, but I figured it's probably better, like I said before, to have shorter episodes. Ep excuse me. See what I mean? Yeah, shorter episodes than usual, rather than no episodes at all. So let me just slide on round there. The drifting on this thing is brilliant. It's absolutely awesome. I really do like it. I'm going to have to... Actually, my drifting skills may even improve slightly. Now that I got Gran Turismo Sport, um, I may actually be able to improve a little bit. I haven't actually been using my steering wheel for that, though. I've just been using the standard controller, taking me back to... The days many years ago when my friends had a PS2 and we used to do the endurance races for a very long time. And I am seriously considering doing an endurance race on the PlayStation. Um, I don't know how long for. It's certainly not going to be any time soon. But it's an idea somebody suggested, a friend of mine suggested, that perhaps I could do an endurance race. Because um, you can set it for as long as you like. On the PS4. Um for like a charity live stream or something like that and say do a 12 hour endurance race now you know i he did originally say a 24 hour endurance race um but maybe 24 hours is a bit much but anyway i'm not going to smelt today we'll smelt uh next time so if you enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar. goodbye and see you later